Hello lovelies and welcome to a new video. So I have an art journal process for you today. Um, I actually haven't touched my art journal in a long time, like way too long to remember. And I was very inspired by all the, um, the creativation releases coming out and especially as you can tell, maybe, um, the Dilusions release. Now you know how much I love Dilusions and love Diane Reevely and everything she does. And I was really inspired by her, um, her new things coming out and by the samples she'd made up, especially her collage little dolls that she puts together. And I really wanted to do something like that. So I thought, you know, what a good place to start. So I'm trying out the new inks. Now, these are the ones that were released late last year. She released six new colors. Um, I've had them for a while. I just haven't really used them. So these are the three cools. Um, oh my goodness, from the top of my memory, I can't remember. Um, Lagoon, something about a parrot, and um, Balmy Night. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't have them on me on the top. Of them. But these are the three new cools. So there was three new cools and three new warms. These are the three cools. And I have to admit, they look, they are really nice together. Um, the Balmy Night is, is beautiful, which is what I'm using to stamp through my stencil, um, spray through my stencils here. Now, you may notice that my, my letters aren't staying very crisp. Well, what happened is my background wasn't dry enough, so when I've sprayed more ink on top, it's just bleeding and spreading out. But for an art journal page, it's not a big deal. It's just getting back into the swing of things. My poor art journal has been neglected for far too long. So as you can see, I when I do pages with inks, I use the same three colors over and over. So what I mean by that is I will do my background by spraying them and then when I spray my stencils over the top again, I'm using the same three colors just in different areas. So I've sprayed the uh, Balmy Night over the Parrot, I think. Oh, I can't remember what the green is called. It's a beautiful green though. And I spray the green over the blue, the blue over the Balmy Night. You know what I mean. So I just mix and match but I keep the same color tones. Now, because of that bleeding, um, I decided to go back in and draw over some of my lines with my um, Harlequin stencil, the these diamonds. It didn't give me a crisp little diamond like I wanted, so I decided to go back through and um, just draw, you know, a few lines in there. I'm really trying to work on my my doodling. I'm I want to draw more, and that's where something interesting happens with this page. So, right now, I'm going through some magazines. For the record, Dolly Magazine, not very good for making these these collage people. I have a bunch of Dolly because I went to an op shop when I was on the hunt for all sorts of magazines and they had a whole bunch for like 50 cents, so I bought them. Not Probably not the best. Um, honestly, if you're looking for a good magazine to make some of these collage um, people out of, honestly, Vogue. I find Vogue to be the best. I don't buy Vogue myself, but... Um, a lot of waiting rooms have them and if you ask or if you're willing to swap I have a lot of That's Life magazines that I read and I'm happy to trade or swap those for some Vogue magazines. Um, my husband's work they have uh, his boss's daughter collects the Vogue gets a Vogue subscription and she just gets rid of them when they're done so they put them in the waiting room. My husband works at a tire shop so yes, they have Vogue magazines at a tire shop in the waiting room. So yeah, sometimes I trade them. I'll give them a bunch of um, That's Life magazines and I'll get a Vogue now and then. But they're, they're really thick and the best thing about them is they have lots of ads. Now, I remember when I was young and I was reading Cosmo, I was like 13, 14, and my aunt was like, why do you buy those? They're full of ads. Well, nowadays as an art journaler, that's fantastic because that's what we use for all these. So they're really thick, lots of fashion models, not necessarily ads, but lots of, um, yeah, fashion type things. So lots of things to cut up for these collages. So I'm a bit out of practice. This collage doesn't turn out great. And as I was trying to tell you, um, when I first do this page, I don't like it. I'm not happy with it. The When, I, when this video finishes, I wasn't happy with this page, but I was just trying to get back into the swing of things. What happened after I stopped recording is when I was really happy. I decided to get out my paint pens and play. And 
I took multiple photos in case I ruined it, <laughs> which is silly because uh, we all know, as I say, there's no wrong in art. But I've put two photos at the end of this um, video, one to show you what it looks like after I finish filming, and then the next picture shows you what, <coughs> excuse me, what I did afterwards with my paint pens and honestly I love it so much more it's more eclectic it's more weird it's it's more me it's it's got more character I think is what I'm trying to say it's more individual it's not just a bits and piece collage paper doll put together that I didn't like and yeah just you'll see what I mean I just like it a lot more so I'm going through the magazine, just looking for bits and pieces. I didn't want to use one whole image that I've cut out in the magazine. I wanted to make it a, an eclectic, mix and match, really weird kind of um, paper doll. If you've seen any of Diane's um, collage images, you might know what I mean. But basically, I really wanted to over-exaggerate bits of the head. That's why I've got those giant lips. The eyes are there. I wasn't going to use them on this page, but I really do want to use them soon. But I think I may have ruined them when I sprayed another page. But anyway, I'll find more. So I think I made a mistake by the magazine I chose. I think if I had have chosen a different magazine, this would have been an easier process. But literally, it was the first two magazines I grabbed off my pile. Which is funny, because I have mountains of magazines everywhere now. The majority of them fashion magazines. And yeah, so I think I made it harder on myself by the magazines I chose. But I really just, it had been such a long time since I'd played in my art journal and I really just wanted to, yeah, just get into it. <laughs> yeah, I really need to um, try this exercise again <laughs> and try it with, um, see now I've gone and gotten a Vogue magazine and see how much better it is for these images. There are some fat, this image I loved obviously, there are some fantastic images in here that you can use for this exercise. There's also um, Teen Breathe, I love Teen Breathe. Uh, the Regular Breathe and Flow, they're all fantastic for this as well. You'll find, um, not so much for making your own mishmash collage images, they're more, um, have fantastic images that you can use as a whole. I have a collection of those too. But I just really wanted a really mismatched kind of, thing which well, wasn't exactly what I got but in the end once I play with my paint pens I love it so much more I really wish I had have kept filming um but yeah I when I don't like something I've done and I keep producing work that I do not like I know it's time for me to take a break and yeah find something else to do because I know if I keep going I'm going to keep making things that I really don't like. And when I get into a rut like that, usually I walk away and come back. Well, in this case, I didn't. I got my paint pens out, started playing, and ended up with something I absolutely loved. So, yeah, I'm really sorry I didn't record it, but I did take a picture so you will see what it's like in the end. So when I started this, um, I sprayed one side with the ink and then with a lot of ink, closed the book and then that turns out with two pages, but I had masking tape down the side because this uh, art journal is very well loved and some of the pages were starting to bleed through or fall out. So I reinforced it with some tape, which annoyed me because I couldn't do the double page. So um, I've decided to do a border with some black gesso just to cover up that tape because it was annoying me. And then I'm going to glue all this down. Now I knew when I did the border with black gesso, that um, it would be a good base to do some doodling. I really want to work on um, freehand drawing, doodling, things like that. I'm not very good at it. I don't do it often, so I figured um, this would be a good exercise to do it with, which is what actually got me started in playing with my paint pens to make this page something that I enjoyed more, if that makes sense. It's been that long since I have glued anything in my art journal. I actually went looking for a glue stick and I didn't have one. I'm like, why is there no glue stick on my desk? How am I meant to glue this down? Then I remembered that I usually use gel medium. It's been that long since I've shown my art journal any love. I forgot the basic products that I use in it. How tragic is that? So I'm using gel medium uh, to glue this down. I use gel medium to glue pretty much everything into my art journal. I think I only ever use it as an adhesive. I don't really use it for anything else. 
So yeah, I'm just adhering all of this down. Um, I'm going, I do go back, I was really trying to make this really look eclectic and weird. Didn't succeed very well, except for the lips. I love the giant lips. So I went through, because her head was attached, I thought it looked weird and needed something so it didn't look like I just stuck her head on top of that body, which is of course what I did. So I found like a little piece of a, a ring from an advert and I just turned it into a necklace. And then I'm gonna give up on this little person. <laughs> It wasn't what I was hoping for, but at the same time, it's in my journal. It's, so, you know, I did the the activity, I did the process. I might not have liked what I got out of it, but I still, you know, I still did it. It's still a page in my art journal. I still got my hands very messy. I still glued and cut and I still had some creative time. So I can't hate the whole process. I'm going through my favorite art by Marlene sticker book. I love the phrases in this book. I really need more. There's so many really cool phrases and the, the fonts are all awesome. So this one just says bold and bright. And then on the little ones, I'm going to get one that says be bold. So in the end, my page will say be bold, bold and bright. And then because it just looks too clean, I'm going to get my Stabilo Ore Pencil and quickly scribble around that and then activate it with a bit of water because I just really like that watery look you get. My Stabilo Ore Pencil was dull, so I had to sharpen it, of course. But yeah, um, generally I find these really white and crisp and I will, without a doubt, every time I stick one on a page, do this because I just like the grunginess it adds. And you know how much I love my grungy pages. And then because I wanted to add some more, some splats, I get my um, black ink and just dob some of that on there. I just like the way it looks like, you know, when you've been writing with a fountain pen and you whack it too hard and it splats everywhere. I love that look. So that's what I aim for when I use my black ink. It doesn't always end up that way, but that is what I aim for. So that's going to be the end of the page. And this is what it's going to look like when I finished, when I turned off um, filming. So this is what it looked like. And then this is what it happened after I played with my paint pens. Now, as you can see, very big difference and so much better. I just, I loved it. Once I'd finished with those paint pens, it was so much better. So I'm really sorry that I didn't record that part, but you know, I just wanted to play. Next time I'll know, I'll know better for next time. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll be back real soon with a new video. Bye for now.